I can't take it. Fill it up. Huck Bell's beside himself. No, he's not. He's just wearing a tight T-shirt. Right, let's have another uh, another one of these. First time, first love. Well, even as I speak, tributes continue to pour in. Letters arrive by the sackful. Don't do it, Jim. Get off the air, you prat. Yours, Norman Tebbit. All this sort of thing. Letter from the King of the Kipax. Oh, that's nice. What's this one here? Holding a gloved hand. Oh, oh! A photograph of the FA Cup winners, 1969. That's very, very nice indeed. From N.J. Baker Bryan. Oh, dear, oh, dear me. Look at this, Huckvale. Eh? Those were the days, weren't they, eh? When the old, eh? The old Gorton Locos colours, the red and black stripes swept to glory on the hallowed turf of Wembley. Who's it from? Nick Baker Bryan. Oh, Tarkin. Only 15. And I loved her so. As an avid listener of your nocturnal emissions, please could you send me a promo photograph of your handsome self. Whenever I, I write to that plonker, Penk, and ask for a photo of Steve and yourself, I always receive two of Steve Penk. Oh, that's what he's up to, is it? Now I've got a collection of 64 Steve Penk signed promo photographs. Many thanks. P.S. Why don't you have Huckvale re replaced by Irate Albert answering the telephones? Oh, oh, many, many a true word is spoken. Now then, there we are. I, d I don't need to look at the photograph here, but I can remember it. Doyle Heslop. Joe Fish is on the back row on the left. Joe Fish. Oh, so he is. That's right, yeah. Uh, actually, it was um, 69. Oh, dear me. I think there's a mistake here. But anyway, Mulhern. Pardo. Book. But No, sorry. Mulhern, Book, Pardo. Doyle, Heslop, Oaks, Summerby, Bell, Lee, Young, Coleman. Eh? We will terrify Europe. We didn't actually. We got our noses rubbed in it. But uh, the thought was there. Punter time. Punter, 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 punter. Ah, Davenport and Stephen Earnshaw. Ah, oh, Jimbo, my baby. Come Jimbo, on, speak, my baby. Oh, it's you. Right. I'm not, a, I'm not aware that this is an appellation which has hitherto been used in connection with my inestimable self. Inestimable? Well, there you go. Another famous first from uh, the deep south of Manchester, I suppose. Um, whereabouts does Hookvale live? He's very disparaging when I said I was from Stockport, which is the posh end of Stockport. He says, no, it's not. It's, it's near Hazel Grove. Oh, Stockport's a bit of a dump, isn't it? It's a, all, the, the whole thing's below sea level, if well, memory so serves. Your socialist principles moving to press, which... No, I'm not a... I, I'm not, socialism does not prevent one from discerning between that which is pleasant and that which is horrid. In fact, au contraire, it merely heightens one perception, one's perception of the difference between the two. You used what? to live in Davenport, actually. Did you? Don't say what. <laughs> I said you what. Oh, oh well, that's what better. What part? Um, <coughs> what do you yeah. want, anyway? You've got one of those glib, fast-talking voices, which means, hello, I'm on the radio and I'm a prat, but I think I'm very clever. Yo, nice one, Jim. I bet no, you sell well, something, don't you? I've been on, been on the Dave Ward show about 18 years ago. Um, yeah, I want <laughs> But to, well, seriously, though... But seriously, folks, I've actually seen Roger Whittaker live. Oh, God, where are <laughs> Believe it or not, the talk of the town in, in London, in the Deep South, when I worked down in the deep south we had a firm doubting stop one saying year. down in the deep south you're not jimmy carter Tuh. it's easy for you to say you haven't been down the pub all night um whereas yeah. you have mr earnshaw i deduce sure <coughs> sure yeah um yeah sorry. oh he's a plonker right over to oh now then oh how very nice on this final occasion in old trafford it is Alberto. Goes a bit quiet now, and then we wait for, uh... Hello? Hello? Have you got some new slippers? You took your bloody time, haven't you? Um, have you got some carpet down in the lobby? Yeah, how do you guess? Because we couldn't hear you clumping towards the phone. Oh, I took my bloody clogs off, didn't I? Oh, I see. God blimey, I've phoned before bloody eleven. Oh, I'm awfully... The, look, this is a, there's a huge waiting list. It's like the National oh, Health oh, Service. Oh, do, do you think you are the bloody Queen Mother or something? Oh, no, oh, please, don't speak ill of the lady on her special day. Get knotted. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah. I feel at home now. Listen, uh, it's a bit of a wrong conversation, this, isn't it? 
So far, yes, but because I hope we're in you are uh, normally uh, uh, loggerheads, aren't we? Yes, indeed. A you know, small... discussing some vital bloody subject. Loggerheads, a small Scottish coastal resort. Yeah. So, uh, it's a bit rum, this, isn't it? Tonight is a special occasion, Albert. Oh, what were we going to talk about? I don't know, but I remember... Let's get the lamp swinging. Yeah, go on. There we are. I remember all those many, many years ago when you and I first locked horns on the radio. When we first got to wear each other's guts, That's yeah. correct. Yeah, yes. that's it, yeah. So, so what do we talk about now? I don't know, I think we could reminisce about old times. How are, th how are things at the Hacienda? A bit yeah. rough, actually. How's that, old scout? Well, uh, the minor bird's pretty ropey. Are you sure she's not winding you up? No, definitely and positively not. Are you sure she doesn't send you down to uh, down to the mace shop, and then as soon as you're out, she leaps, she leaps up, dashes round. No, there's not much danger of that, sunshine. She's not. And I was in dock last week. What was the matter with you? Uh, bleeding ulcer. The, oh, you see, you see, even not a bleeding ulcer. Oh, I see. I I'm mean, sorry. Uh, Actually, you know, uh, sort of the bloodletting ulcer. Oh, a, a sanguinatory ulcer. Yeah. Well, you see, obviously, you worry too much about the state of the world, Albert. That's what it is. Uh, the joke was, you know, when I, when I was in dock last week, yeah. they stuck me in bed next to a geezer, and I was feeling pretty ropey at the time. Mm. And there was a big crowd around his bed, nobody around mine. And they were chatting away there, and this guy had loads of flowers around him. Yeah. And somebody said... Who sent you those there? Who, who said what? Who sent you those there? They look beautiful. Oh, don't people say things. Yeah. And this guy said, no, well, he couldn't talk very well, actually. But somebody else said, those were from Winston and Minnie. <laughs> In the next bed to me. <laughs> you know, yeah, and you know who Winston and Minnie are, don't you? Winston Churchill and Minnie Caldwell? No, Winston and his missus. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear me. And it's, I'm stuck next to this geezer in the next bed, five feet away. And did he really think, um... That, that he... was bloody appalling. Oh. I could have... I could have gone into a deep coma. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. What, with that and hospital radio, it's a wonder you didn't. Yeah. It was really bad news, that. So, have they, have they sorted you out now? Have they scooped it all out? Yeah, I think so. Did you have it done? Uh, it was on the NHS, presumably, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, definitely principles. not a booper job, me. No, no, no. No, I mean, persons don't cop for that. Well, I, I believe you were turned down at the... Because uh, they like to give the clients the once-over, don't they? That's right, yeah. yeah. So, Albert, this evening is a, an occasion. It's the last one of the, uh, the current series, isn't it? Yeah. The last one forever. It's, uh, I know, it's tough, isn't it? What will you be doing with yourself in the evenings now? I don't know what the bloody hell to do after this. Can you get, uh, can you get a lock-in at the British Legion, anything like that? I don't know. I might tune in to Red Rose or something like that, you know. Radio Fat. Listen to that fat get, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's... I, I mean, it's just not going to be the same anymore, is it? I don't know. But, I mean, you see, you and I, Albert, together, we've, we've put in a lot of... You know what it's like when you've put in a, lot, a long service and you, you start to get a bit clapped out. And the time comes when you've got to say, well, let's uh, let's shuffle off, let's try something new, you know. Mm hmm yeah. So we haven't really. I mean, we've tried, but we've not sorted out the state of the world very much, have we? No, we've not had much success, Gary. You know what I mean? Pushing the party forward, have we? We've done a bit, I suppose. We've, uh... Many other plonkers seem to be getting it all their own bloody way, don't they? For the moment, but nil carborundum. I, I think in this year of the Spanish Armada... Something's got to happen, hasn't it? I think so. But I, I always take comfort from the fact that the odds may seem insuperable, but miracles can happen. Yeah, you're dead right there, kid. Provided one has the determination and mm -hmm. bears in mind, and you, as, an, as a resident of Old Trafford, will be aware of this, yeah. the old saying, nil carborundum illegitimi. Yeah, you're dead right. Was it something to do with bastards or something? Well, yes, that's the Latin part. Oh, yeah, they out. are the right shower, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the nil carborundum bit means don't let them grind you down. Oh, that 
That's, oh, yeah, I like that. The old Albert Finney bit. Is it? Don't let the bastards grind you down. Correct. Saturday night, right. Sunday morning. That's right. That's it. Yeah, it's all coming back now. Well, if this wasn't going to be the last programme, it certainly is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks very okay. much indeed. Take care, old scout. All right, sunshine. Give my regards to the minor bird. I will do that thing. Tell her, tell her to keep a pecker up. Right, kid. What colour's the carpet? Er, uh, deep red. Deep red. With that, Amazon sickles on every other tile. The, that's the idea. The people's carpet that's is it. deepest keep red. Keep it flying. It's shrouded off their martyred tread. Yeah, that's the stuff. Owes a little bit to come. Sock it to them. Thank you very much indeed. Woo! The final time we shall be hearing... From Ira Talbot. Oh dear me, I'm getting lumps all over the place here. Still, it makes a pleasant change, actually, in some cases. In Whitefield, Stella Massey. Hello. Ms. Massey. Hello. Yes. Uh, well, I just wanted to ring to really pay a tribute to pensioners generally after sort of having ad nauseum the Queen Mother on the television today. Um, I think it's very easy to look as well as she does when you've had all the advantages of such a privileged life. Of being the um, queen, like, for a long time. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, knowing sort of certain pensioners, such as my mother, who are struggling on a very low income each week, I think they are the people who deserve the tributes today and not sort of very rich, privileged women. Listen. Listen, Stella. I bet your mother, who is who is struggling along in a mildew-ridden basement or wherever she lives, yes. I bet today when the Queen Mum popped out, she went, oh. You must be joking. Oh, you must be joking. Look Not at, at all. her. No. Look. Oh, she lo doesn't she look beautiful? Did you no. hear this? I mean, I'm disgusted with this very radio station. We did the usual crap this afternoon, right? The nation's favourite granny... The best loved yeah. royal of them are all this bilge. Mm. Right? I bet your mother probably thought, oh, I'll try and send her some of me pension this week. I can assure you she didn't, no. In fact, it was at my mother's instigation that I'm on the phone now. Really? Really, yes, yes. Well, I, I was very... You know, they do say that the National Health Service isn't up to much. Yes. Well, there was a, there was a letter in The Guardian which said... Uh, how can people say this when only, only this week, this was some time ago, the Royal Air Force flew an elderly grandmother several dozen miles to hospital to have a fish bone removed from her throat? Mm. Right. Yes. So we do live in a caring society after all. We certainly do, yes. It's, it's heartwarming, isn't it? I'll tell you what, though. I do have certain reservations about old-age pensioners. Yes. All right. Getting in your way in the shops, mithering, mm. really pushing because because they know you can't do anything. They really elbow you. They push in front of you in shops, yeah. and you don't say anything, right? Mm. And you're just sitting there minding your own business with a haircut that's about as outrageous as as Alan Price, <laughs> and you can hear them saying, "Look at the state of him." <laughs> right? What's he got to do? You can't, you can't turn around and say, "Well, at least I've got a hairnet on." <laughs> Well, speak for yourself. At least I haven't got little brown zip-up booties <laughs> on with sponge rubber soles. Well, we don't know that. No, I, no I, yeah, obviously I haven't, you know. I, I mean, I don't wear those. Do you know what? Listen, no, I won't, I won't tell you, but I, I do know something happens to... Something happens to the zips on those boots in the case of the incontinent, doesn't it, eh? But, um... Perhaps not at this time of night. 26 minutes to one o'clock. Crumpsall. Have you got it in the wrong order? All right, then. We'll try him. Um, Crumpsall. Yes? Come in, Crumpsall, come in, Crumpsall. Hello? Yes? It's me. I know it's you. Who is it, then? What do you mean? Who am I? Who am I? No, who am I? You are Jimmy White of Crumpsall, the most irritating git in the world. No, I'm Adolf Hitler. Are you really? <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Well, you certainly fooled me. Yeah. Uh, well, it's the last time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. I hadn't I thought of that. I not come on no more. Pardon? Because I can't listen during the day. Why not? Because, um, well, I'm not in Manchester, put it that way. You're not? No. Oh, where are you? 
Oh, well, I'm out and about, you see. Oh, that's right. They come and pick you up in the bus in the morning, don't they? No, I have to go down, you know, different parts of the country and, you know, make me deals. What are you talking about, mate? You 